students myself sharmita mojumdar from shrutish chandra memorial school congratulations to all of you now you are in class 3 you know all that we are fighting against corona so we have to stay at home and we have to be safe today i am going to teach you mathematics and our first chapter is According to NCERT book, it is where to look for. So we have learned already uh, the part views, different types of views. Already we have learned, and now I am going to teach you the next topic: line of symmetry. What is mean by line of symmetry? See. line of symmetry means a line a line which divides the shapes into two equal halves is called line of symmetry a imaginary line which divides the shapes into two equal halves is called line of symmetry see here i have drawn one smiley and i have drawn a line and this line divides this smiley into two equal halves see this part is identical with this part this part is identical with this part so this line is divides the this line dividing this smiley into two equal halves so this line is called line of symmetry and see here also uh, a leaf and this leaf is mid drip this is called mid drip and this mid drip also divides the leaf into two equal halves so it is also a line of symmetry so now we will discuss about types of line of symmetry we will discuss about types of line of symmetry so there are types of line of symmetry there are three types of line of symmetry one vertical line of symmetry horizontal line of symmetry and third one diagonal line of symmetry now which are called vertical line of symmetry vertical line means standing line so if i draw a triangle like this way and if i draw a line of symmetry like this way standing position this is called vertical line of symmetry another one and what is called horizontal line of symmetry the line of symmetry those which are slipping lines they are called horizontal line of symmetry like slipping or horizontal means if i draw a rectangle and if i draw a dotted line then this line is called horizontal line of symmetry and diagonal line of symmetry means which lines are slanting line they are called diagonal line of symmetry like if i draw a square if i draw a square then and if i draw a line like this slanting line these lines are diagonal line of symmetry now our next topic next part is topics next part that is how do we can find the line of symmetry 
how do we can find the line of symmetry see there is a very simple very simple activity we need to take a piece of paper we need to take a piece of paper like this way and if we write a alphabet like a as i have written here and if we fold it see if we fold it and if we get a overlap portion see we have got on overlap portion then it is called this line uh, this alphabet has one line of symmetry and the type of line of symmetry is vertical line of symmetry so this activity is very useful for you so if we take a piece of paper and if we write one letter or anything if we draw a shape on on the, that paper then if we fold it and if we get one line which overlap uh, over which get gives us the overlapping portion that is called line of symmetry so the alphabet a if we write the alphabet a again in the middle this standing line uh, the types of line of symmetry is types of line of symmetry vertical and number of line of symmetry how many number of line of symmetries are there there is one line of symmetry number of line of symmetry one okay so uh, you can also find the numbers of line of symmetry and the types of line of symmetry in this way so now we will discuss about the symmetrical objects and asymmetrical objects or shapes so today i will show you some figures symmetrical and asymmetrical if i draw a shape like this way and this way see here we will get one line of symmetry so it's a symmetrical line of, uh, objects or symmetrical shapes and here we can't get one um, line of symmetry so it's an asymmetrical line uh, shapes so those shapes which have line one line of symmetry at least one line of symmetry they are called symmet symmetrical shapes or symmetrical objects and those shape which has no symmetrical lines they are called asymmetrical objects so today i will give you one activity you have to list out four objects from your home which are symmetrical and four objects which are asymmetrical must find it from your home this is your activity so today up to this stay home stay safe bye bye